German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius is headed to Asia later this week. He'll begin his trip in Singapore, where he'll be participating in the Shangri-La Dialogue. That's a regional security conference. He'll then head to Indonesia and India. His visit comes at a time that Germany, along with the European Union, is showing a greater interest in the geostrategic situation in the Indo-Pacific, an interest heightened by the COVID pandemic and the war in Ukraine. And DW's chief political correspondent Nina Hauser will be accompanying the defence minister as his trip gets underway on Thursday. She joins me now in the studio for more on what we can expect. Nina, welcome. Why is Boris Pistorius travelling to the region? Well, I think you have to see it against the back backdrop of uh, Germany's, the German government's Indo-Pacific region strategy that they put in place in 2020. So they have understood that this region is playing a vital role, that it is that the role is increasing over the next couple of years. So they need to show their faces, they need to show presence there. And Pistorius is going for an entire week, which is pretty long for a German minister, because they say we need to safeguard stability in this region. We need to help because it is in our own interest. It's not something that we're doing because we want to help somewhere else. Germany has seen very clearly after the COVID pandemic that some of the trade routes were affected in the region, for example. So that would be a massive blow to the German economy if this region got more unstable. And uh, so this is one of the interests. Then the other one is, of course, that Germany is trying to use this window that they still have to convince partners to stay vigilant and to also remain active fighters for the international rules based order. So this is something where Germany is hoping to uh, get some understanding from those partners as well for their position on Ukraine, you know, all these things, which is why Pistorius is travelling for so long. So with, uh, we're talking about a defence minister travelling to the region. Does that mean that security is in focus? And if security is in focus, what is the role that Germany plays in security in the Indo-Pacific, a region where the United States traditionally has been dominant? Absolutely. Germany is watching this very, very closely, what's happening in terms of potentially autocratic regimes threatening the international rules-based order. We saw that with Russia invading Ukraine. We see the threats coming out of China towards Taiwan and the potential fragility of this region, which would potentially affect trade routes, like I said, but also would potentially also affect uh, the international uh, rules that society is based on. So Germany sees its role in strengthening its Navy presence there as well. They want to do regular Navy manoeuvres. And uh, last year, there was a frigate uh, from Germany, which for the first time in two decades, went to the Indo-Pacific. Now, whether or not they had a big impact is something that uh, scientists are debating. But it was a first attempt to show, hey, we're here. We have, a, we have a Navy. We can contribute. Now, Germany, of course, can't do it alone. It's also in discussions with the EU, whether to strengthen... Uh, Navy presence there in the region, potentially with European partners. But all these things, you need to keep in mind that the German government, German defence ministers, haven't really been in touch with Asian military officials. Right. You so, know, so... Is it, in many ways, is this also a learning experience here? Absolutely. For the German defence minister and the German government in general? Absolutely. And you, you mustn't forget, you know, this is about people getting to know each other. Pistorius will meet all of his counterparts. He will have time to sit down and talk with them. He will get to know um, the, the military operations and how they communicate, which technology are they using, etc. All these things that are so vital. When you have partners in such a key area, you need to have some time to get to know them. For way too long, Germany, but also other European partners, neglected that region and they are trying to play right. catch up now. Uh, the war in Ukraine, we need to talk about that because the war in Ukraine has had an impact in the Indo-Pacific, but it's also having an impact here in Germany where a military modernization plan has been announced, for instance, something that Boris Pistorius will be uh, presiding over. How important is it that Boris Pistorius succeeds at that here in Germany to assure allies in the Indo-Pacific, or at least partners? Oh, it is vital. We all remember when Olaf Scholz, the German Chancellor, announced this new big package for the German army because of uh, Russia's invasion in Ukraine. 100 billion euros extra uh, debt, if you want. Uh, so money that is being created to fund the German army. 
very little money has actually arrived in the armed forces. And of course, partners worldwide are watching very carefully. You make big promises. Are you really following through? Are you really putting the money where the, your mouth is, literally? So this is something where Boris Pistorius will have to deliver. You have to keep in mind he's only been in office for a couple of months, so he can't do everything all at the same time. He's already warned as well that uh, he's got procurement issues at home. So, you know, all of the German army's infrastructure and the German army, uh, the companies, etc., they were all still operating um, according to peace rules, if you want. And then Russia launched its full-scale invasion, so they're having to turn things around very quickly. But of course, yeah, Germany's credibility is at stake here. We we'll leave it there for the time being. Uh, thanks so much for coming into the studio, Nina Hazard, to talk about Boris Pistorius heading to Asia. Thanks so much.